Hey there, this is Mark Spencer from rippletraining.com with a quick tip on how to use one of our free generators called the uh, time date generator. So if you go to rippletraining.com and you scroll down, there's an option to get a free download of Final Cut Pro 10 generators. If you click on that, it'll bring you to the page of the generators and it shows you what each of these are. I'm focused on this one called the time date generator. So let's go over to Final Cut Pro. Here we are in Final Cut Pro. I'm in the generators browser. And here are the RT Classic Generators. And if I scroll down at the bottom, there's the Time Jate Generator. So I have a video here. It's not very interesting, just a bunch of random clips. But it can represent any video that you want to put a uh, animated, either animated or not, time date on. So I'm going to do at the beginning of this little project, I'm going to press I, function right arrow on the laptop, O, to set a range for the whole project. Select the Time Jate Generator and press Q to connect it. So now this generator is over top of the entire um, project. And basically what I want to do here, the only thing I really want to show you is how to animate this to change over time. So we're going to have a starting date and ending date. Here's all you need to do. Uh, there's a bunch of other options in here to change the position, to change the font, to change the size, to change the color, to add a drop shadow, da 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 da. You can figure all this stuff out. The main thing is how do you make the change? Because by default, nothing happens. And if you turn on animate, uh, it just kind of goes crazy. So here's what you need to do. Do not turn on animate. Instead, what you do is set your initial value that you want. Let's say we're going to set this for January 1st of 2013. And let's say it's going to be 12 00. That'll be my starting uh, time, okay? Now I'm going to set a keyframe by clicking this icon right here, add a keyframe. That sets the first uh, keyframe. So now, I'm going to move to the end of this. I'll hit the uh, end, and I'll go back one frame. So we can see on the last frame of this generator, I'm going to set a second keyframe. And this will be for my ending date and time. So let's say that we're running this through to uh, September 30th of uh, 2013. And let's say let's do 3 PM, just for example. OK? So now we've got starting and ending keyframes. And what will happen is, as the project plays, it'll animate from January 1st, 2013, all the way through the end to September 30th, 2013. And that's the basic way that you can animate this generator to change the date and time that is displayed.